So this is paragraph 12. Please mark your reading, paragraph 12. And with your red colored pencil, geothermal energy. So what is geothermal energy? Well, geothermal energy is energy that comes from inside the Earth. This type of energy occurs when underground water is located near pockets of hot magma. So basically this is water heated up that comes from underground and either escapes through geysers or is channeled into power plants that use the boiling water and the steam to turn turbines. So the water is heated to boiling and escapes the Earth's surface in the form of steam. In some areas of the world, this steam is used to generate electricity. Around the world, the geothermal energy plants pump water into areas of underground magma to produce power. One such plant is located near San Francisco, California. In the past, geothermal energy could only be used in areas with tectonic plate boundaries, but now we are relying on the insulating properties of the Earth to keep us warm and cool. So let's look at a couple of these types of uses for geothermal. Get your blue colored pencil. The steam is used to generate electricity. Geothermal energy plants pump water into areas of underground magma to produce this steam. So first let's look at a passive geothermal application and what we see is down three feet or four feet below the surface of the earth the ground remains a pretty constant 13 degrees Celsius. Uh, or if we're talking about Fahrenheit, we're talking about 52 to 53 degrees Fahrenheit, just so you have a reference point for our everyday living. And what happens is pipes are laid below the ground, and these pipes go back and forth in the ground below the surface, but then these pipes are brought up into the house. A, um, a pump in the house will circulate water through these pipes, and these pipes, because the ground is about 13 degrees Celsius, the pipes, the water in the pipes will begin to warm and become 13 degrees Celsius, and then the water brought into the house is 13 degrees Celsius, we can get thermal energy from 13 degree temperature, 13 degrees Celsius temperature water, which is about 52 to 55 degrees. We can get that water to release energy um, in, a, in, a, in a heating system, and we can draw that heat out of the water and use that 55 degree ambient temperature in the ground. We can use that to help add heat to buildings. And the same thing would be true in the summer where the pipes that circulate in the ground in the summertime, because the house is hotter in the summer and we're looking for cooler air, we would circulate water through the pipes under the ground. They would be 13 degrees or 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius, and that water then would come into the house and would be used to help cool the house in the summer. This is a passive form of geothermal energy and the way geothermal energy is used in buildings and in structures. But let's look at an actual geothermal power plant briefly. So we'll finish this reading by looking at this geothermal power plant and then going through the advantages and the disadvantages. But basically a geothermal power plant has a resource of water. You don't see it here but a lot of water is used in a geothermal plant, and so somewhere back here, there's probably a, a water tower that we can't see. But there is a, so there is a water tower here uh, that provides water for this process. A well is drilled down into the bedrock, down to where the, the hot rocks and the hot magma would be. And water then is pumped down through the well into the areas where it, the water then will fill a, 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 a reservoir or the water will fill an aquifer and this water little by little will gain heat 
be warmed up, get hotter, get hotter, until eventually it's hot enough uh, to be extracted or to be drawn out from under, from under the ground through a well that was drilled and into an area where the, the hot water then would be put under pressure and would create steam. That steam then uh, runs into a room where it spins a turbine. This turbine spins. It's connected to an axle, which is connected to a generator. The generator is spinning. The generator has magnets inside of it, and the, the, the metal windings in the generator spin inside the magnet and create a magnetic field and the magnetic field then produces electricity which is put out onto the grid and sent on out to our homes and businesses and schools and so this in this way geothermal energy is used to produce electricity so let's take a look at the this last paragraph advantages of geothermal energy and there are some disadvantages so we can just get those circled right off the bat and then let's with our blue colored pencil geothermal has several advantages number one it does not pollute the environment two it's renewable and unlike fossil fuels it is unlimited so there are three positives but as with other forms of energy geothermal power also has some disadvantages so Geothermal plants cannot be located everywhere. They require areas where the magma comes close to Earth's surface because we have to drill these wells. Drilling wells requires magma close to the surface of the Earth so that the wells can supply the water down to the magma area and then a second well will release the hot water back up to the surface where it's compressed and, and steam is used to turn turbines and generators and produce electricity. Make sure that you have everything marked and the notes taken on this reading.